Good morning, SBC. It's Tuesday morning. It's going to be a beautiful day. I hope that you're ready to get up and get engaged with the day that God has given us. Now, I wanted to share with you a word of encouragement today from my stick collection one more time, and, and that is this beautiful stick right here. I know you may not think it's as pretty as I do, but I love it. It's got a grain in it that actually twists as the uh, stick goes on, and I left the grain to where you can feel it, and it feels really cool. The other thing I love about it is all these knots and bumps and bruises. Uh, those things just kind of give it character because it's something that it acquired over time. And the last thing, of course, is that although it's not the tallest stick that I have, it's one of the strongest that I've got. I know that the grain twists in different ways. It may not look as pretty, but I'm telling you, if you needed something you could lean on while you're trying to make it from one point to another, there's nothing better than this old stick because it's as strong as they come. Now, I love this thing because I know I can count on it. And I've got to tell you, there's one that I dearly loved who I know has gone on to heaven and they are enjoying the reward of being an individual that others have so long leaned on. His name was Bob McCourt. I loved him dearly. He was one of the most amazing guys in the church. He, he wasn't necessarily the tallest guy in the congregation, but he was a man of great stature when it came to spirituality. Every Sunday when I would see Bob sitting just to my right on the front pew, I would know that it was his week to go in and intercede for his pastor in prayer while I was preaching. Bob, at some point during the service, would slip away through the doors, go into the prayer closet in the back, and he would begin to pray for me as I was preaching. Again, Bob wasn't the tallest guy, and he carried a lot of the wounds and sorrows that this old world gives us as we age and as we go through the hardships of this world. But when he went back into that prayer closet, he soared and his voice reached the heavens and he would intercede not for his own needs but for his church for his pastor for others he's going to be missed and he is going to have left a legacy that's going to be a tall order to fill this week i pray that you have folks that you can lean on. I pray that you have folks that you can count on. And most of all, SBC, I pray that there are people who can count and lean on you. Let's make it a great week and let us all intercede for one another out of love for one another and in service to our God. I'll see you real soon right here at Second Baptist.